Hey there, it's Stephanie Shea, Chief Astrologer for janspiller.com with your monthly horoscope and this one is for you, Virgo. I'm happy to be connecting with you here on the internet, on YouTube, and happy to announce that starting this month, all 12 sign monthly horoscopes will be available on this YouTube channel, so please subscribe and stay tuned for astrology videos that I'll be putting together that have to do with the bigger astrology that is um, happening in context with the events today. So you can keep informed on the astrology and it'll help offer some insights as far as what we're being supported in doing right now. Now, as April begins, the sun shines in Aries through the 18th. This could heat up intimate partnerships. Now that we're clear of Mercury retrograde, you might have more clarity about a new or existing relationship. This month's full moon on the 7th is going to highlight your finances, especially if you're in negotiations with others regarding a purchase or business agreement. You're apt to have a good sense about what you need to create a situation that feels fair to all. This full moon on the 7th is definitely illuminating issues of equity and fairness. Now, the powerful conjunction between Jupiter and Pluto that began last month will be exact on April 4th. These two planets are a strong pairing and they help you to attract the opportunities you desire, especially when you're willing to release what's no longer working. You're being tapped by the universe to follow your heart, but first you've got to get organized. And this is something that Virgos generally excel at. Whether your dream involves a romantic relationship, working with young people, or engaging in a creative pursuit, <clears throat> you need to make sure you're in a stable position to thrive and grow with others. Consider your current obligations and what resources and training you may need to accomplish your aims right now. Now we've got Mercury finishing its travels through Pisces on the 10th and it enters the sign of Aries on the 11th. So between April 11th and 26th are going to be ideal for verbal or nonverbal communications with loved ones that facilitate emotional connection. There's an emphasis on the arts, on creation. Um, you can communicate in a variety of ways through music, through imagery, but what's important right now is communication and connection. Now, here's a heads up about Venus retrograde, which is coming up in May, but we do enter the shadow phase of that April 10th. Some people may feel the retrospective energies of this planet um, this month, but Venus won't officially be retrograde till May 13th. You can get a head start now organizing money matters. Make sure relationship questions either get resolution or put on hold before next month. You might be pondering some options related to your career as well. If you don't feel 100% sure about what you want in this area or what you can do in this area right now, Avoid making sudden moves and use the coming months to do some research. It's also strongly promoted under Venus retrograde to sort of lay back and make a temporary plan. Don't commit to anything that is set in stone right now. And really with everything going on, that astrological energy is right in alignment with what we need to be doing. Just take it a few months at a time. We've got Pluto stationing retrograde on April 25th. This will initiate a cycle that will last until October the 4th. During the time Pluto will be retrograde, you'll be able to transform difficult emotions through creativity. Here's another planet encouraging this. You can see a theme for you this month, Virgo. Make music, write, draw, dance, or find another way to express yourself even if your creative process is solitary, which most likely <laughs> it will be, or maybe just with someone in your family, you'll feel much lighter when you move emotions through you in a creative way. Now we've got the new moon on the 22nd in the sign of Taurus, which emphasizes your sense of security and your determination. It's an excellent new moon to set intentions related to education and money-making endeavors. 
It could be time to make an investment in yourself by learning something new. So there are things we can do under these trying times and under this astrology. None of it is happening quickly, but Virgos are known for their determination and patience. And so I know you have what it takes to move through these times. And I hope you have a safe and good month of April. And I'll see you back here in May with your horoscope.